People love to buy things. Usually, we buy wrong things that are making us poor rather than rich. If there would be a class in school that teaches us how to manage our money, maybe there wouldn't be so much poverty in the world. Big screen TV, new iPhone, designer clothes, a new car. You can buy these things, but not when you use credit cards to pay for them or using your food money. Make sure you actually can afford to buy these things first. If you can buy something twice, then you can afford it. Keep that in mind. People love to buy liability because it's an instant gratification. When you buy true assets that brings you wealth in the future, they don't usually bring you anything right away. Just sadness because you have less money for your big screen TV. Self-discipline is very important. It's a trait that most wealthy people have. And you must too. Also, have a goal for your life. Only then, buying assets becomes less boring. Yes, investments are the number one thing that you need to buy. Like gold, stocks, rental property, something like that. Start a business or learn a new skill that will benefit you in the future. Something that will bring you money later. Of course, hard work, planning and sacrifice is involved in this. So don't expect to have fast success or results. Time is passing by anyway, so you're not losing anything by doing small things daily. Don't forget that what you do daily shapes your life and your future. Sometimes people think that a seminar or a course is too expensive for them to buy. But have you ever thought that not taking that seminar or buying that course will cost you even more in the future? Education is not an expense. It's an investment in yourself. So every time you buy a book to learn something, take a course or attend a seminar, that's an investment that will bring you assets someday. Just figure out where you're going and what you want from life. Then start learning and educating yourself as much as you possibly can. But also, don't make a mistake getting stuck just learning. You have to start taking action, making mistakes, and you will learn even more. If you have an insurance for your phone or for your big screen TV, but not for yourself or your family, you must rethink things. Remember, the most expensive things in our life are the things that money can't buy. When your expensive phone breaks, I know your heart will be broken, but there are plenty of those in the store. When you lose your health, you won't be able to just walk to Walmart and buy a fresh pair of lungs. You can't do that, not even with a million dollars. Wealthy people prepare themselves for the worst and expect the best. And this is what you need to do as well. It seems like I'm okay, I will live, I will be healthy, now my life is diamond. But sometimes life is a bitch and it doesn't care a tiny rat's ass about you. So have insurance for yourself and your family. When life is slapping and throwing you around, you won't need to sell your kidneys to get new lungs. You will be saved by your insurance.
quality and healthy food is an investment in your health. It can also save you a lot of money in the future in medical bills. What we eat is very important for your mood, your brain, and your quality of life. If you eat junk food, you may be tired a lot, especially if you don't exercise. The less you move, the more tired you will feel. What a nice circle! If you eat healthy, you have more energy and are in a better mood to get things done. Consequently, you will feel even better. Do you see how all this goes around? The more you do something, the more you feel that way. If you're laying on the sofa waiting to feel energetic so you can go to the gym, you will be dead before you feel anything. Keep in mind also that waiting to feel motivated to do something is the fastest way of getting nowhere. You have to start doing things in order to achieve something that will make you feel good.